Hi guys. <laughs> Hi guys. <laughs> Hi guys. Welcome. This is Sue and Sabi from Flexible User License Team. Welcome to the ACE event East Meets West at Alasian Marketplace app that makes your soul sparkle. Sue and Sue. Hi. Hi. Yeah, we are going to host a session with um, flexible. Oh uh, no, be flexible. How to make it easy to manage user license in Jira. With the recent global economic crisis, uh, reducing IT costs has emerged as a global trend. So therefore, um, today we want to um, learn how to save Jira tier upgrade costs without purchasing any additional licenses while automating your license management to save your license. So yeah, how are these things possible? This, this is possible through the app, uh, Flexible User License, available on the Atlassian Marketplace. In today's webinar, we will show you how to extend your Jira seats without any cost, along with various cases and demos, and we will even provide a one-month pre-trial and personal demo. Yeah, let's see about the Atlassian Cloud seats. Yeah. I'm going to introduce uh, Appalachian Cloud Sets. Oh, can you? Oh, yeah. Yes. Appalachian Cloud Sets means uh, the number of users who can use the Appalachian suites of products like Jira, Confluence, and even um, CloudRise. I don't know. Yeah. So, uh, for example, if you purchase license or user tier like 100 in Jira Cloud, you can get seats for up to only 100 users to access your cloud, right? Yeah. yeah. As you know, invite people and add user is available regardless of the seats. So, for example, the user tier you're using is 100, but you can invite and add 130 and more users and but grant seats to only 100 of them to use your cloud. Yeah. So, if you want to add all users to the seat, you need to purchase more license or upgrade user, user tier, right? Yes. However, since not all users in Jira is, uh, are activated in set at the same time, right? So, users who do not use uh, it uh, are excluded by the set. But uh, the user who want to use them can put back into set to obtain licenses. So, 100 sets can be used by 130 more people without additional purchase. Yeah. So that's why I want to introduce our flexible user license because flexible user license can make it happen. Yeah, before I um, fully introduce flexible user license, I, I'm going to show you our um, introduction of open source consulting. Yeah. Can you share the, yeah. That's it. Open source consulting <laughs> is a platinum, a platinum partner of Alasian in Korea, has uh, provided um, ITSM and DevOps solution to customer based on our technical experiences in um, technical and um, application and system ar architecture consulting and development. So we also developing and serving the marketplace apps like uh, flexible user versions and KO Pro Bowl and catchphrase and pizza toy in Atlassian marketplace. So yeah, we're gonna help customer use Atlassian more effectively. Yeah, I'm going to show you our portfolio in at Elash Marketplace, but I have no time to introduce ours. So, oh, yeah, Hong Sub Sabi, Sabi can uh, show you yeah. our um, flexible user license in Marketplace. Yeah, you can check the um, introduction, short introduction of our apps, and you can also um, apply for uh, the pre trial here. Yeah. So, I'm going to introduce a quick um, introduction for the flexible user license. Flexible user license is um, an efficient user license management app that solves the license shortage issue. Um, I think there are many uh, administrators for the Jira, so they really, really struggle with uh, manage user and licenses for the Jira. So the administrator does not need to manually deactivate the user and the app setting allows automatically the assignment of the licenses to the unlicensed user when they log back in. 
So uh, they can respond quickly to the change of the number of the user in Jira. So flexible user license is also a global enterprise proven app like Samsung and Hyundai, yeah, in Korea. And mm-hmm. I think we have various um, enterprise company in Germany like Continental and Bitesco, like that. Yeah, so I think Flexible User License is a really beloved app uh, in marketplace, um, like uh, such as IT and manufacturing and finances. So yeah, let's see the main functions of the Flexible User License. Flexible User License is made to um, manage user licenses more effectively. So. Flexible user license can make admin to extend their sits without additional um, licenses for Jira. So it has three main functions to help Atlassian admins. First is user management function. Yeah. So and second is unlicensing function, including auto unlicensing and instant unlicensing. And the last one is a lot function. User management function can make the admin check whether its user is assigned to user group or flexible user license group. So can add or remove users from flexible user license group. Adding to a user in flexible user license group assigned a u- license to that user and removing a user from the flexible user license group conducts user unlicensing. The auto unlicensing function is run based on user group set in Jira and while um, a licensing function are um, based on the flexible user license group in Jira. At this point, I think uh, you might wonder what is user group and flexible user license group is why. So I think um, Sobi will continue our demo and let's see. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> Can you continue? Yes. <coughs> Mm. Yeah, I think uh, before um, so this demo, I'm gonna um, I I really pleased with um, we gonna launch a new version of the flexible user license. So I think this uh, there are many cloud users here. So yeah, I think um, so we will continue our <laughs> cloud version of the flexible user license. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna show you the very new dashboard of uh, flexible user license cloud new version. Yeah, you can all take a look for your license usage in Jira and the total uh, registered users in Jira in the dashboard. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this part is uh, uh, license usage. Uh, it shows current maximum number of Jira license mm-hmm. and the number of license in use and the remaining number of license sheets for Jira. Oh. And uh, right, next, <laughs> right next to the license usage, mm-hmm. uh, you can check registered users. It shows the total number of users registered in Jira uh, and the, the number of users who have been allocated a license sheet. <coughs> The number of the users who have not used the uh, license sheet. Oh, that's a dashboard at a glance, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, let's move on to the group mapping. Mm-hmm. Uh, group mapping is first of all, uh, group mapping part is so essential to use flexible user oh. license. Mm-hmm. Uh, as Sue mm-hmm. uh, already mentioned about it, to set up um, specify mm-hmm. the user group mm-hmm. and the flexible user license group mm-hmm. yeah, is nation necessary uh, to define the user and the sheet for using Jira. Oh, yeah. Yes. And, <coughs> and this is a group mapping bot. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can move on to the group mapping part. Just click that shortcut button. Oh, yeah. That's a shortcut. Yes. Uh, let's deep dive to group mapping part. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Yes, user group is the group of all users who need manage the license sheet by Atlassian admin. Mm-hmm. Yes, and uh, uh, flexible user license group is the group that user have license sheet for using Jira. Oh yeah. 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 Register license sheet to user groups for groups that require dynamic management. Mm-hmm. Yeah. For example. 
You can add project unit groups as user groups to assign or remove uh, Jira sheet. Oh, yeah. Yes. And move uh, on the user management. Mm -hmm. uh, you can search for users, uh, for example. Yes. Yeah. This is Korean name of Sabi. Yeah, <laughs> this is my name. Yeah. And uh, group. Oh, yeah. Jira software users. Yeah. Uh, and you can check the list of users included in the user group, mm -hmm. uh, registered in the group mapping, mm -hmm. and unlicensed. unlicensed uh, user by automatic unlicensing. Uh, uh, using such function, you can remove the user, user who don't activate in Jira for a while from the flexible user license group mm -hmm. yeah, to make a room for remaining sheets or add user who searched to the sheet. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, to enable them to use Ijira mm -hmm. without, <laughs> without any problems. Problem. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Or you can also check the list of user unlicensed sheet. Uh, it means removed from the mm -hmm. license sheet. Oh, yeah. Yes. And let add them license sheet again. Oh, yeah. Yes. Um, actually, it is all about flexible user license. Oh. I think the part is the most essential of flexible user oh, license. Oh, yeah, license yeah. management effort. Yeah. Yes. Uh, in the function of license management, mm -hmm. yes, it's that, uh, divided into divided, uh, Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <Yeah. laughs> it's divided into part <laughs> one is automatic on licensing and uh, instant on licensing. Yeah, instant yeah. one. It's more like make user uh, removed from flexible user license group in post. In force. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, this uh, auto automatic on licensing, mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. Auto on license management, yes, is uh, uh, conducted daily. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, in case yeah. Uh, in case you want to use automatic on licensing function, you can make a loom yeah. in licenses by a licensing group uh, user who have not been active for a period longer than the set activity log here, like yes. yeah, last active that day. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, using instant license function, you can make a loom in the license sheet by entering number that you want to remain the number. Yes. Yeah. Uh, oh. Uh, like like like, <laughs> oh, like yeah. license assigning yeah. like uh, you, uh, you means like yeah. uh, it's very important uh, issue because we have to write down the license user after unlicensing, right? Yeah, yes. yeah that's the point. <laughs> yeah, yes. I got it. Yes, and run it, uh -huh. then the user will be unlicensing from or just activate the oh, Yeah, okay. really be careful with that button, okay? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and the last, uh, let's move on to the uh, other function. Mm -hmm. Yes. In case the number of license the exit set number, mm -hmm. yeah. Allo function sends email, yes, uh, to set group oh, yeah. or users mm -hmm. and uh, external emails. Oh, yeah. even external emails yes. like uh, Google, can oh, okay. Google and like oh. neighbor or mm. Hotmail. Uh, everything. Everything <laughs> possible. Yeah. Oh yeah, okay. wow! Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Yes. Is a user allo function, mm -hmm. you can set the schedule of allo. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Is that that's it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the end of our demo. So really, really thank you for mm -hmm. listening our demo. And if you guys have a question or want more information about our flexible user license or our app portfolio in Marketplace, Please just let me know or just please give me message or please just give me Slack message or LinkedIn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, anything. I will. Yeah, anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. Um, and yeah, we really looking forward to meeting you guys in Vegas. Thank mm -hmm. you so much. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.